What is up guys, it's Jay here, j Media one We've got a pretty cool video for you today. It's going to show you how to mark up something on your Mac, but you're going to be able to use your iPad to do this. So if you have an iPad and you have an Apple Pencil, then what you can do is take a screenshot on your Mac and mark it right up on your iPad. And this is just a really cool feature that I use all the time, so I thought you guys might want to see how I do it here. So it's pretty simple actually. You're going to hit Command Shift and 4 and that's going to let you take a screenshot uh, based off of what you highlight. So I like this feature. You can hit Command Shift 5 as well. Take a screenshot of the total screen, whatever you like. I just like doing it this way. So once you get the screenshot there, you're going to click on this little floating image down at the bottom and that's going to bring up your markup tools. Okay, and within your markup tools, you're going to have this right here where it says disconnect. So you might have it where it looks like a pencil and it says annotate on an iOS device. You're going to be able to click on the drop down and pick which iOS device you want to annotate this image on. Which is very cool. But as soon as I do that, you're going to see it pop up on the iPad there right away. And when I start doing my annotation, so if I circle this pulm pulmonary artery, it's going to immediately pop up on the Mac. It's very fast, so if I do it here, it's almost instantly popping up right there with very low latency. And this is not connected. This is, as you can see, there's no cord connected to the Mac. If you connect a cord to it, it might be even faster. I don't really do it that way. And you can do all kinds of cool things. So say this is a particularly important thing. Put a little asterisk there. You can change it to the highlighter if you want to highlight a word. Uh, you can add text to this. You can add text right here if you like and then you can write something inside of there. Whatever works for you. I find this great for sketching out ideas if you have to do anything with a diagram such as this that's particularly important. Now once you're done, you're just gonna click done up here on your iPad and then you're gonna be able to save it here. So you can click this button here and just add it to your photos and you're good to go. And now that's gonna be sitting inside of my photos. Still have the original image there if I like. Um, if I don't want that image or if I want to redo it, you're going to have that option. But you do have that image in your photos and ready to go. You can also add it to your notes. You can add it to an existing note. So it does give you a couple different options inside of there. You can message it to somebody if you're doing a school assignment or if you need to email it to somebody or email it to yourself. Whatever you like. I, I use this feature all the time and I just thought you guys might want to know about it. Until the next one, guys. Later.